Have you come across the fascinating claims made by a father in a recent interview? He spoke with a devil, one who claimed to have been in hell for over 350 years. According to this devil, every Catholic, no matter how faithful, would have to spend at least 50 years in hell before they could even think about entering heaven, assuming they were even allowed to make the journey upward. This claim alone is staggering, but it brings up even more questions that are unsettling to consider. Could it be possible that the devil itself is confined to hell for thousands of years, or could there be another place waiting for it once its time in hell is over? And with a statement as severe as this, is there a chance the devil is deceiving the father? It's a chilling thought and one that leaves the faithful wondering what the truth might be. The encounter itself happened in a hospital around 5 p.m., of all places. The father was there at that hour, and that's where he saw the devil, it was feasting on the souls of the patients who had just passed. The image was horrifying, yet the father found himself compelled to confront it, and it was there, in the quiet sterility of the hospital halls, that this strange and terrifying conversation took place. What the devil said to him was disturbing enough to unsettle any Catholic, or any person, for that matter. It hinted at a grim destiny for even the most devout, which seemed almost intended to sow doubt and fear in the faithful. But the encounter didn't end there. Just when it seemed things couldn't get stranger, the father noticed a nurse who felt somehow different. It was Our Lady herself, appearing in the form of a nurse. The father watched, awestruck, as she moved among the patients, radiating a calm, healing presence. But it wasn't just her presence that shocked him, she reached out to the patients, and what happened next seemed almost miraculous. There was an air of peace, of warmth, that filled the room, a grace that was both soothing and powerful, as though she were giving strength and comfort to souls on the edge of eternity. To ensure many people watch this video, please share it with others and subscribe to our channel. We hope this message touches your heart and helps you come closer to understanding souls and assisting people in changing for the better. If you agree, please type Amen. In a small, dimly lit hospital room, whispers spread about a nurse who had appeared out of nowhere. She had a calm, otherworldly presence, her face framed by a veil of soft white cloth that somehow seemed part of her. No one recalled seeing her come through the front doors, nor did any doctor remember hiring her. Her arrival had been so quiet and unobtrusive that only the patients who had fallen under her gentle care truly noticed. She brought with her an air that was both soothing and unexplainably powerful, and the very air around her seemed charged with peace. The first sighting was by an elderly man, frail and weak from a long illness that had left him bedridden for months. His body had been wasting away, and his family had started to gather, quietly preparing themselves for the inevitable. They found him propped up in bed one evening, recounting his encounter with the mysterious nurse. When she entered his room, she placed a warm hand on his forehead, whispering words that seemed more like a prayer than medical advice. The old man felt a warmth spread through him, a sensation of strength he had long forgotten. Over the following days, he was visibly regaining vitality, much to the astonishment of his doctors, who couldn't explain the rapid improvement. Word of the nurse spread, and soon patients in neighboring rooms began to see her too. Each time, she would appear quietly at the edge of their beds, often when they were deep in a restless sleep or struggling with pain that no medication could ease. In her presence, they felt a profound sense of calm, as if every ounce of their suffering was being lifted away. She would place a hand on their shoulders or simply stand nearby, her silent prayers filling the room with a warmth unlike anything they had ever known. With every touch, the patients felt an energy that seemed to revive them from the depths of their illnesses. One evening, the father arrived at the hospital. 
He had been called to administer last rites to a patient who had been battling an aggressive illness. As he moved quietly through the halls, he noticed an unusual silence. Rooms that were typically filled with groans of pain or the hum of medical machinery were hushed. When he finally reached his destination, he found the patient sitting up, eyes bright and breathing easily, miraculous contrast to his previously deteriorating state. Stunned, the father made his way to the nurse's station, asking if anyone knew about the sudden improvements. The staff looked at him in confusion, exchanging glances of bewilderment. They knew of no new treatments or changes in care that could explain the shifts. But there was one rumor they whispered among themselves, something they weren't sure whether to believe. Each spoke of a nurse, one they had never seen on duty, who appeared in times of desperate need. She was often glimpsed late at night, wearing what some described as an old-fashioned uniform, though no one could pinpoint the style. Curious, the father decided to stay that night, observing quietly from the hospital chapel. When the lights dimmed and silence settled over the halls, he felt a presence, warm and soothing. Turning toward the patient rooms, he caught a fleeting glimpse of a figure dressed in white, moving with a serenity that felt almost unearthly. It was then he realized what others had missed, this was not an ordinary nurse but a presence from heaven itself. In the days that followed, as the father shared his experience with trusted believers, the mystery of the nurse grew. The patients continued to improve, defying expectations, leaving doctors confounded and families joyous. Yet, despite their best efforts, no one ever truly discovered her identity. The father knew, however, that this was a blessing beyond understanding, a gentle reminder that hope and healing sometimes come in forms unseen, guiding even the weakest toward strength. The strange and beautiful intervention left a lasting mark on those who witnessed it, drawing the patients and staff closer together, bound by a shared mystery that lingered in their hearts like a quiet prayer. In the months that followed, the hospital's reputation spread, and with it, a renewed sense of faith and wonder, as though a touch from heaven had made itself known, reminding all who entered that room that miracles may happen in the most unexpected ways. Thank you for watching till the end of our video. Our brothers and sisters, without fear and with more faith than in the past, let us continue in faith. Stay blessed and continue to pray for God to show all of us His graces and blessings. God bless us and protect us. Amen.